dear students today we are going to discuss the topic t mod register okay so this is very important register it is responsible this register is responsible for configuring the operating modes whether it should work in timer 0 or timer 1 and in that which mode you need to operate okay so this is a 8 bit register actually it is a 8 bit register it is a 8 bit register it's a 8 bit register to select the mode and timer okay so it is a one of the special function register it addresses 89h it is not bit addressable okay it is not bit addressable it's a byte addressable okay very important okay see here here from lsb the first four bit that is from 0 to 3 it is configuring for timer 0 it is for timer 0 from 4 to 7 for configuring timer 1 very important so the first g the two bit that is a zero bit and a first bit okay similarly in fourth bit and fifth bit to select the mode what are the modes you can operate zero zero so if it is if this is specified as zero zero that means it will work in mode 0 and it is a 18 bit timer mode. Suppose this M0, M1, M0 is specified as 0, 1. Let me consider. It will operate in 16 bit timer mode. 16 bit timer mode, it can go up to maximum count pulse of 2 power 16, that is approximately around 65,000. Similarly, if you go for, if you consider it is 1, 0. Okay, so it will work in, act as a 8 bit auto reload. Okay, so if suppose this is configured as 1, 1. That means it works as a splitter timer mode. How these modes are working? How did this are written? What is the logic behind everything we discuss in the coming lectures? This is only for understanding what each bits are specifying. So I hope this M0 and M1 you understood. Okay, now come to the next bit C bar T. Similarly, in timer 0 also you have a C bar T. So this will generally tells you whether you want to work in timer or counter suppose if it is set if c bar t is set if c bar t is set that means it work it's operate as a counter remember if c r t is 1 if operate as a counter it work on external pulses suppose c bar t is 0 it is function as a timer because timer is a low enabled pin so it's a low enabled logic it's a function of timer counting on internal clock pulse what is the internal clock pulse internal clock pulse is your oscillator frequency will be divided by 12 right if c bar t is 1 it will act as a counter external oscillator it may be work on t naught or t1 so it's very important to understand another important I am saying uh, very important here the gate gate is a gate enable control bit actually this is a control bit okay if it is gate is zero it will work as an internal timer it is a software timer if gate is one it will work as a interrupt okay it's work as a interrupt so i will i will teach you the logic to understand this logic we need to go for timer block diagram okay 
see here very important see this is your internal clock internal clock is what the oscillator frequency divided by call okay so this is where switch okay if c bar t is connected default it will be as a zero okay that means it is in the timer mode internal clock okay if this is connected to suppose here it will be one that means it will work like a counter the timer will operate as a counter when c bar t is one the external clock may be differ it may be it may be t not or t1 okay so very important i hope you understood right so this is default will be in timer if you if you want to act, if you want to make it as a counter the c bar t should be one okay another important thing to enable you initially the values will be calculated and those value will be loaded in the register that is a timer register okay so i need to start the timer to count when it will start then tr bit is enabled only this counter will start to count the pulse okay so here you need to understand here you have a and gate here you have or gate the or and gate if both the input are high only you will get a one if this is one only the tr bit tr that is means clock will that is count will start that you need to understand okay very very important this is the or logic that means any one of the input is high you will get a higher logic output okay so let me say suppose uh, this is one okay so you will be having one here default i said the earlier if gate will be zero that means internal sign of the software time so if it is zero here you have a not gate so you will be having one so if one of the input is high you know the logic will be high in the or gate so both are high so it is one so the timer will be starting to count so let me consider it is loaded like a zero 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 hxl value it will up to count f f f f f it's a 16 bit timer that means i am considering is a mode one okay it will up to count up to f f f then you have a overflow so during this transaction we know that the flag timer flag will be zero once it reach f f f the flag will change to one okay so this is a basic thing you remember okay very important to write the program so to start the count to start the timer to count the pulse the tr should be set that is the logic you have to remember consider this gate is one okay that means it will be zero now the control will be over this pin okay the control will be over generally to enable the interrupt it should be zero that means what is the interrupt here what is the interrupt very important interrupt means i want to stop the timer to stop the the counting should be stopped that means the timer should be off okay so to stop this timer i need to enable the center if it is interrupt only this timer will be stopped okay so that is based on application okay so for certain application i need to measure some threshold value if i touch the threshold value i need to stop the counter it is not in all the cases you need to go for like a end value right in certain case you need to check the some threshold there you need to stop the your timer to stop counting right there you can enable the interrupt that is based on the application okay so if interrupt you want to generate it should be zero but default it will be one default it will be one if you want to enable the interrupt it should be zero if it is zero you can see zero zero your output will be zero so this will become zero so your your, your tr bit will become zero so this will stop count so the timer will be stopped okay so this is a logic of this block diagram 
okay to write the program this is this understanding this block diagram is very important okay so first you want to see whether it is timer or counter general in default the c bar t will be zero that means it is working as a timer then your value will be loaded in the register okay but it will not start to count to enable the timer to count you want to enable the tr bit the tr bit is a control bit that will be in the tcon register okay so tr0 means that is for timer 0 tr1 means for timer 1 if you enable that bit only the timer will start to count so to stop the count you want to make the tr is 0 to stop the count you want to make tr is 0 that means i want to make i want to start the interrupt if the interrupt is 0 the interrupt is enabled because it's a low enabled bit okay it's a low enabled pin i hope you understand thank you